You're on. Waiting for me, huh, Joe? <laughs> All right, we'll call a uh, Deerfield Parks and Rec Commission meeting for February 7th to order. Um, we have a motion on the minutes for the January meeting. Someone? Motion to accept as written. Second. Any changes or comments to them? Um, I noticed Darren's name had one too many R's. If we can uh, fix that. I got your back. <laughs> so all in favor, approval? Say aye. 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 Uh, citizens' comments. <clears throat> okay. Grant update, Hartford Brook update. Okay, yeah, I was actually looking back at the minutes. So this, this happened between the two meetings, but we did receive the letter from the state um, regarding the, the grant process. It's been accepted in, at the state level, and will work with us to recommend it and push it forward for total acceptance. There is a part in this, and we've talked about this before, about getting a letter of retroactivity so that we can start because otherwise their timetable um, the submission runs from march 1st through april 30th for a june 1st project start date uh, but we can submit for a letter of retroactivity to begin work that um, is in our best interest to to do so i i've sent them message regarding uh, the best way to move forward with that and um, i'll keep in touch on that so we can put a plan together that doesn't wait until june obviously but rather when the ground's ready so that March 1st to April 30th is a time frame to hear whether you've got the grant or that's not. when they're going to work the the applications to go to um, the national part the review process and the the application process to them but if the Warren article passes we can Go ahead with that money, right? Yes. And I know there was some discussion a little bit around the, the differences between the grant and whether it was matching and the amounts. So the grant is for 25000 The warrant article went in, the citizen's warrant article went in for the same amount as last year, which was 20000 But part of the match with the grant is services in kind and, and so forth and showing that revolving and, fund yeah revolving yeah. fund anything we need to do to right. cover that in so is yeah. there any other Hartford book on the warrant I mean, on the no. agenda did you you got the bill from the labor I did submitted for that yeah. is that the plumbing yeah, <coughs> build us eighteen hundred dollars for all the parts, and um, you know he supplied everything, mm -hmm. everything, and right, right to the wall, you know, all, everything under the floor. Yep. And you got and that. He's you all said. paid now. He still yep. has more work to do. All the the major materials all there, but like he can't put it in the kitchen sink until we do the cabinet. And so for the next part of the actual Harford Brook update is, is the plan for doing the work. What works left and how. You're right. right, exactly, yeah. Do you want to start on that now? Yeah, we certainly can, yeah. We can just list the things that need to be done. We need to, um, we need to finish the interior, which is largely about equipping the kitchen. So we need cabinets. We need um, uh, counters, the uh, door and window casings. I don't know if we're going to redo the sliding door or use what's there. We can leave that for now and see how it works, I guess. I mean um, the service door with a we, we food in and out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean we can leave it as it is for now. We can do a lot more elegant job with that at some point. Um, and we need all the, the the big items like whatever we're gonna use for cooling. We need shelving, and uh, you know anything we need to just protect stuff from vermin getting at it or whatever. All that. So some kind of cabinets and freezers <coughs> and refrigeration. Yep. Um, I don't know 
if we're going to develop anything upstairs. Probably not this year, I'm guessing. And then we have all the fencing left to do, another backstop and all the other fencing. We need to irrigate the rest of the field, probably get it, probably work it a little first and then irrigate it and seed it. Uh, and we need to, you know, lay out the softball and get the bases installed. Um, Four dugouts. And, we, and build the dugouts, right. We have an idea how we want to do those, but we need to build the dugouts. Then I think it's pretty much in place. We might, we might um, work out some kind of pins in the ground or something to um, position a soccer field so it's really easy to lay it out in subsequent years. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Might be nice just to have points. Even just the corners would be huge. Everything could be measured from there. You don't have to square it up again. It might be nice to do something like that. Same thing with the football, football. dimensions? I don't think football is going to ever use it. Yeah. I don't think they are either, other than maybe some practice stuff, it, there, there just isn't, they don't think there's enough size there for them. No. For what, if you know. they were going to use it, they'd probably use the same thing we use for soccer. I guess we could, maybe if we're only going to do 8v8 soccer, they, we could actually get a bigger field for them. Mm -hmm. If they want it. So if they want it, yeah, we would do that, I guess. And, you know, last year they used it for the, the fair week for practices. I think things like that is more they're headed, but... Yeah, we're open to discuss whatever they want to do. So, mm. right, right. I think they're really looking to develop their own space. We'll see. Whatever they, whatever we can do to be helpful. I think that's pretty comprehensive, though, right? On the list yeah. of things we need to do. Yeah. And we know the right contacts for all this stuff now. And so the thing will be the cabinets and the interior finish work will be the one that. Um, Refrigerator, freezer stuff we'll have to work on getting with somebody. See if we can put it out there, see if anybody want, has one they want to donate. That, yeah. You know, old freezer they want to get rid of or something. Mm. Not too old because we don't want junk, but. Yeah, Joshua, I might have a bunch of them. He might help us. Yeah, I think that's a good list. We need to do a layout for that area, too. I don't think we have it. Pretty much done, but yeah. We, we could detail that. It was in the plan pretty close. We know right where the sink goes. We know the kind of shelving we need underneath the service window. Um, and we know where <coughs> the, we have cabinets on that wall that faces the field. I mean, shelves on that wall that faces the field. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and there's a space that's designated for the cooling. So it's pretty close. The storage area is pretty much done, right? There's nothing more to More could be done there, but I don't think it's... Yeah. Early stuff. You know, it won't be hard. I don't imagine it'll be hard over time to get you and I and a few others together who are here <coughs> to um, do a project one weekend each mm -hmm. year or something and right. enhance stuff along the way. Mm -hmm. right. yeah. the, uh, the other piece is to um, just make sure that the parking is cleaned up and, and that the uh, accessible parking is defined definite area as part of the that's big as it relates to the grant as well mm. right but that's pretty simple I mean yeah. it's just yeah. it's just a sign yep what size was the soccer field was that 8v8 you said yeah I have it I have a recommendations uh, I have it all down but oh, I okay. can't yeah you know, the, even the school field for 11 v 11 is a little short. It is, yeah. yeah. It's 85 yards. Yeah. It's way short. Yeah. What's... Is it 110 yards? It should be 110. Yeah. Yeah. Very small. I had quite a few people. I'll say quite a few. Several people asked where Hartford Brook Field was yeah. at the deliberative session. So. But, but Harry couldn't say enough nice things about the project, I can tell you. Yeah, yeah, she was really? very impressed. Yeah, that's great to hear. Very, very quick. Yeah, a lot of people um, say that, and I think in a, in a few years there's not going to be too many. At least if you have kids, yeah, you <laughs> we're going to be able to is. say that because, uh, and even that whole neighborhood. I mean, it's really impressive when you go down that way and right. see all the homes, the amount of families that moved in there, and it really is going to turn into a neighborhood mm -hmm. field for so many families. Yeah, there you see bicycles out on the hill. Yeah. 
All right, good things. Um, deliberative session. Well, I put that on the agenda because I wasn't there, so I certainly, oh, well. I had some text, I got some uh, information, I did the best I could to catch up. Bernie did a great job. <laughs> I heard that. Did. Impromptu as it was. Yeah. I guess the thing to take away was um, we did have a question regarding how the, how, you know, where is this thing going to end and uh, um, where did the money go? So I think it would behoove us to uh, uh, get an accounting of that and present it, make it available to people. Um, it makes good sense. It's, I think that question was focused on the uh, revolving account. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I, that's where I've heard pieces of both. So, yeah. yeah. I think, well, people were interested to know the timeline on Hartford Brook, when it was going to get done, how long is it going to drag out what's the intent so you know maybe even put together something to put up on the website that, that says this for finishing it and I don't know if we can put a plan up that shows what it is and what the intent is and mm -hmm. stuff yeah and, and again I apologize for missing Saturday that was going to be part of the um, Saturday presentation as well to have that on the uh, on the board have a board with that information but I'll make sure and it's good to do this on the TV meeting but make sure that people can go right to the website to get revolving account information to get Harvard book updates we'll make that a, a focus point over the next couple of days on the uh, when you first go to the, the parks and rec page mm -hmm. to get that information put up the plan view of the field that's complete mm -hmm. it'd be very helpful a lot of positive comments like Jack said though was was nobody nothing negative against it so yeah. All right, uh, Winter Carnival. Do you want to take that, Darren? Sure. Unless you've got the posters. <laughs> take it fast. Take it fast. Oh, yeah, these are on. You'd like to see. And I was hoping um, if anybody would be up for it to take a few home with you and if you have any places around that you know where you could post some. I was hoping to do that earlier this week and some today, but with the snow, didn't get around to it. Um, but, yeah, here's what... Here's all that we have listed for the day. Um, some of the stuff is going to be weather dependent. I've, um, with other winter carnivals, I've helped out with um, a, a neat draw was putting together a, a Quincy or an igloo style. So that's something that I want to do a couple days prior to the event and hoping that the, the snow continues um, like this and we can actually put it together. And then a, a snow maze as well. And then a lot of the other stuff is just kind of come um, Come as you may, and um, we'll have different activities going on from different times, and trying to reach a lot of, a lot of wide um, ranging ages. Um, the bonfire, the hayride, face painting, um, snowman contest. We're, we'll have snowshoe rental from the school. Um, they're letting us borrow those for the day, and it'll be free rental for everybody. But it's mainly going to be um, right around the, the town hall area, in the in the gazebo area where it'll be happening. How's the uh, rink, ice rink, held, holding up? Is it, <laughs> it was pulled up. Yeah, oh, it was pulled up. Oh. did the work. Mm -hmm. Who pulled it up? Pulled it up, yeah. Um, Cindy. Oh. I believe. Cindy. Cindy. Cindy or Wendy? Wendy. Wendy. Oh, I'm sorry. Wendy. Actually, yeah, it was Wendy. Wendy. I apologize. All right, I got to get in touch with her. Mm. Looks good. What do you need from from us? Do you need people? What do you need? See, yeah, it'll be. I think Joe would be better to answer that question. Yeah, anyone who's kind of available can let us know, and then it's just basically going to be helping to manage any events. We do have um, the Girl Scouts are confirmed for being there for part of the day to help. The Boy Scouts had a meeting they were going to get back to me on. I haven't heard back from them yet. And, um, and then I'll kind of fill in the blanks from there what, to what we need because we are going to be preparing food. We are going to be having the indoor and the outdoor events. Um, so if anybody was available for a couple hours with that from the commission, then we can kind of plug that in as well and see where we think we need uh, the most help based on that. I did an igloo last year where the kids who were there. Yeah. You know, yep. it was starting kind of early and then they had it and they painted and stuff. I could do that again. 
you know, whoever wants to work on it, they just, you just start working and they yeah. go in. Mm -hmm. It's all up to the snow on that one. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah, <laughs> right. right. That's why when you do that, it's really it's two kind of two separate events in one. We have your, your indoor events, and mm -hmm. uh, and then you have your outdoor thing if you, you get that. So, but it also makes a nice transition for people to come in and warm up from the outside as well and go back and forth a little bit. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it the last couple of years that we we did it again, kind of. Simple, just people getting together and having a good time, and um, the fact that we're able to, to bring it without charging people for anything or whatever is um, just kind of a nice community thing. So. Do we have after school leading up to that? Um, they start their February vacation going, so in other words, Friday they break for vacation, Saturday is the winter carnival. Um, is it possible to get kids over there to do an igloo before? Yep. From after school, <coughs> yeah, during let's that week. watch the conditions then, and if it's better to do it in the few days before, then we could do that. Yeah, I think Darren, you you Which talked about some of that stuff, like either the maze or whatever, mm -hmm. kind of needing those few days before anyway. And, yeah. And of course, so the it's weather. not going to work that day, right? Mm. And the fire department will be there again, running the bonfire. <laughs> I don't know if that was specified or not, but <laughs> very important to clarify. <laughs> important detail, huh? Good. Anything else on the Winter Carnival? No. Hoop Classic. Deerfield Hoop Classic runs March 17th through April 1st this year. We are full and have waiting lists and have, uh, once again, our, our biggest pool ever of 40 teams coming from everywhere. Wow. Um, What's the age group span? Grades 3, 4, and 5, 6. Happy to say gender balance throughout. Good. You know, it's just, yeah. it's just tough because it, it, we take over the school for a long period of time and, and they're, they're great to work with us, but when you bring in the different age levels and and expands like that. It's just hard to get all the games in that you need to get in to accommodate that amount of teams. But um, we have and we are. And um, once again, the eighth grade class is going to take over our, our concessions and use that as a, a, a big fundraiser for them. I think they're going to do really well. They did last year and this year it's only going to be bigger, I think, for them. Are there and more, more teams this year than last year? Yes. Yeah, this will be our biggest. I mean, we were up in the 30s last year, but it's a solid 40 right now. And that's from Noble, Maine, to um, <laughs> Bristol, to Manchester, to Concord, to Marshwood, <laughs> to York, to Hudson, to, yeah. They're, Next they're year, all international. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the only thing, again, we just run out of because we do one game at a time, and, and uh, it's just a lot of gym time. So, uh, But we're looking forward to it, and everyone's excited. And, and basically, with the eighth grade class taking over all the concession, we're just going to need help, as we did last year, primarily around the, uh, the admittance, because that, that's huge for us, because uh, we definitely need that to, to pay the bills. So. Did you have a lot of new teams coming this year? Or yeah, yeah, well, um, yeah, a lot of new communities and new teams and, and, and a blend of those who have been here a lot in the past. And Great. What are you looking for? Is there a budget committee meeting? Nope, not tonight. Oh, they, you're right, they're normally on Tuesday nights, but not, not this Tuesday. Okay. Parks and Rec, if you want to say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I can send those dates along again, and again, just um, kind of running the door and helping to keep an eye on things, and, uh, and that's really where we need the most help. You said it's the 17th through the first, 17th of March through March. Yeah, 17th of March was a Friday night. In April 1st, what we're planning to do this year is to run, especially where it's, it's so spread out and teams play in different tournaments and have blocks, 
we're planning on running all five, there's five divisions, all five concurrent so that um, it'll all build to a championship Saturday. Oh, we'll wow. have five championship games on that the same day, so that should be a, a fun time in yeah. itself. Um, and then we'll, yeah, we'll all build to that. So anytime from Friday, March 17th through April 1st. <coughs> More important that you're healthy for that. Yeah. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah. Darren better be ready. <laughs> March 17th, <laughs> halftime entertainment. Ciao. Um, <laughs> halftime <laughs> entertainment is primarily the uh, three, point three point shot three. challenge, which does very well. And once again, we'll be offering uh, some pairs of Red Sox tickets to some of the winners from that for our Mother's Day Red Sox game where tickets are available as I cross promote for our Mother's Day game. <laughs> <laughs> and that is a special kids run the bases after the game day. Mm. Right. Oh, okay. Mother's running the bases. Oh. Mothers could run too, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All set on the hoop class? Yep. Uh, online registration update. Darren's been working a lot on it, and uh, we're now at the point where we're just our, our card processing company is on board. We're good to go. We just, at this point, are trying to get a training for all those involved. Um, Penny, uh, bring John into it, uh, Lorena, Pete, everybody who was going to be a part of that to make sure everybody's comfortable with how the money process works and, and shows itself and and all of that and we're hoping uh, we can do that Friday morning and then we're going to be pretty well ready to to get going on that so this this Friday you're going to this Friday we're hoping to go through that the process of um, you know again all the and make sure and I've told everybody upstairs until everybody gleefully does this to me we're in a holding pattern just to make sure everybody's definitely comfortable with how it's all going to work so okay. and again Darren can talk a little bit more about what uh, his process has been in terms of the actual site where we're loading all the program information into it so people can click 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 once it's all set up in there yeah that's the hope and um, we can give you so it's technically live um, but that payment process is in there so mm -hmm. we can give you that information if you want to check it out but it's yeah, it's, it's been really neat. RecDesk has been very helpful um, through that process. It's almost like learning another language where you have to put everything in here and make it kind of fit within its own system and just figuring out how to make things work. And they're really receptive. Um, they're always adding, it seems like every couple weeks, if there's something that doesn't really fit for that particular system, we'll try to find a way where they can make that addition on there. Um, one example for our after school um, with the, the day segment when people um, pay for it you can pay for the week or you can pay for a day or like every family's different on how many days they're going to be coming um, so how it's set up now there's not a great way to be able to do that and that's something that they'll have for March um, where somebody can click on and say okay I'm going to be here for the week or I'll be here for Wednesday and Thursday and then we could click a, um, a button it'll put us on an Excel sheet and um, Deb will be able to see like okay Here's magically everybody that's coming that week just from that. So it's yeah, it's been really receptive from them and exciting just to get it out. Um, a lot of build up in the last couple months and a lot of learning. And yeah, I'm excited for come Friday to um, and, and next week after that to get it going. Um, so just a few programs we have. I think adult pottery's on there. Um, the workout programs will be on there. Um, and then yeah, more more to come. Red Sox. Red, Red Sox, Sox tickets, tickets are, are on there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what I think is funny about it too is that some of the stuff like you know we try to be really flexible with with the families and we don't want to lose that charm of it so but when it translates <laughs> to programs such as this it's it makes a lot of hyper specific type of things in there the other thing like right now Darren's working on loading the baseball softball stuff and what you do with that when you load the stuff is put in date of births and things like that and what your age is but with baseball and softball those who've been in those programs and know that what your age is and what your little league age is are different and what your date of birth are so it's kind of rectifying all those things so any there's still some human element that has to find 
its way into that to kind of get everything the way it's supposed to be, but it'll be coming. So will that carry through, once you get it loaded in, does it carry a, a, a kit through like the program so next year? Yes. You, you won't have to add it all back in. You'll right, the families will be registered and then you'll be able to, whatever you sign up for, that, that each individual will have their registration information as part of it. So. Darren, is there any, when you say learning a different language, is there any like um, scripting language or something you have to do stuff in to put things in? Um, no, not so much script, uh, but just yeah, figuring out the formats for it and making it look look clear and just making sure you're kind of hitting the right boxes for it. All right, I spent well, a lot yeah, of no, years no scripting doing on software Thank engineering, goodness. so if it comes to stuff like that, okay, I can probably do it pretty quick. <laughs> nice, yeah, good to know. I think, any, I don't, yeah, I don't think we've seen that so far. Anything like that. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. Okay. He's going to think the hoop classics a whole different language too. I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a blast. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we good on that? Joe Stone scholarship. Yeah, I wanted to put that in there because it is 2017, yeah. and I know things come quick for yeah. the spring yeah. and all of that. So. Yeah, I, I saw that on the agenda, and I looked at our meeting in May would be May second. So backdating that um, to update the application and the announcement, when do we want to have it due? Initially, I was saying, thinking April 28th, which is a Friday, but I'm wondering if we should make it like a little bit earlier so we can save it as a PDF and we could email it out so everybody has a copy prior to the meeting in May. Mm -hmm. So maybe I make it a week earlier, like postmark by the 21st, so we would have them by the, by the Monday the 24th. <laughs> Does that make sense? Yeah. Make sense. yeah. Yeah. All right. That way, they, plus they'll have to have it done before vacation, which right. the parents will be happy with, not hanging yeah, over their heads. <laughs> so I'll put that out. I'll send it to the forum. I'll send it to Concord High. I'll do my contact at Co Brown. Um, I think what else? Where else we post it? Well, I'm almost wondering is that, I don't know if that's something that we, we could put on the site or how that would work. Probably not because there's t too much of a narrative piece to it, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's some writing that they have That's to do. pretty much keep that separate. It's like the budget and everything, just keep mm -hmm, yeah. that oh, separate. Right. Mm -hmm. do, what do we have in there for, do you know what we have for balance? For the Joe Stone Fund? Uh, I sent that out a while ago. It's, it's whatever you guys yeah, it's in pretty good shape. House, right? Yeah, it was, uh, it was yeah, that 15, was like 1600 something. or something. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we talked about we're not necessarily ha feeling like obligated to issue two. If we find one outstanding candidate right. that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we can. Well, is that something you want to discuss further here? Because we talked about perhaps being a $1,000 scholarship instead. Times two or just one? Um, just one. Well, just as a, yeah, as a one, one as a $1,000 scholarship, since it has been a number of years at that same rate and maybe mm. make it a little more even more competitive I guess mm. I don't know I guess I, I lean towards if we're gonna give out a thousand I lean towards doing two and two getting two kids with five hundred dollars of paper <coughs> books or I was thinking the same thing because we've had a hard time picking picking two, two. yeah it'll be the real hard years, to pick yeah. one yeah, yeah. <laughs> Well, how common is that? Two, two, two winners? Yeah. You know, Focus and the Women's Club have typically done one, but one of them did two like a year or two ago. I remember hearing two winners for one of those, and I don't remember which one it was. Yeah, and I think of the scholarships that kids apply to for, um, through Concord High, and there are, there are several that are smaller comparable to this yeah and, and you know they give out to yeah yeah there are businesses whatever we so, can yeah we can talk about it more and just see what people think or put it you know well you, I mean, you can decide now if, if you think the board has I think we, we stay with two fives or stay with 500 and stay we stay with 500 and if we have do two we two. can do two yeah yeah I don't promise it right right oh right And I never put in the advertisements that we do too. I just say, you know, a scholarship. So it's never, 
you know. Guaranteed, yeah. 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 yeah, so we just, they apply for it and we see what happens. So if you think of anywhere else to put it, maybe I can just do a couple flyers, you know, for the um, library and school and everything, I'll do that. And we're on for another coffee house too, right, in the spring? No. Oh, no. I thought we were, no. no. I think this spring it's someone else. I saw Leslie's email. Was it? Yeah, it's the Scouts, maybe. I, I have, it right, I have yeah. it right here. Yeah. Yeah. I thought they said the Scouts were going to perform as well as oh, Les right. Leslie's email. Kind of factor. Yeah. yeah, and I would wait to ask again until we go through. Our Did you notice they didn't ask us to perform when we were the benefactors? <laughs> <laughs> I believe they did ask you to perform. Yeah. Oh, I told you to bring uh, your harmonica. Yeah. Oh, I was performing. Yeah, Boy Scouts. So nobody could see it <laughs> from the kitchen. Boy Scouts. Yeah. I could. <laughs> well, on that revenue vein, what about um, we haven't done a uh, Hall of Fame yep. event in a while. Yep. Next uh, January, was that the week before the Super Bowl? Just about I'm, a year. I'm glad you mentioned that. I think that's a great, a great idea, personally. I mean, how long has it been? Uh, what was the year? Two, 2011, I think. Sorry, okay. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really? So. Mm -hmm. Is there a category for most injured softball player? <laughs> <laughs> I might have, Ernie, I might have you beat. I don't want to digress too much, but. <laughs> The second game of the year, I was running hard to first, and I felt what I thought was a <coughs> pulled uh, quad, and I struggled with it ever since. And uh, I finally went in to get it checked, and they said, "No, that's a meniscus uh, situation." But everyone's telling me, "Don't worry, everybody gets them. They clean them out." <laughs> so I went to the specialist, and they said, uh, "You have a complete, severe uh, medial tear." And uh, so I am going in for surgery on that in April. I want to wait till after the hoop classic. And uh, around till then, Joe. And they don't know if they can repair it. They're going to go in there and see, but it might be. They might do that. I'm giving a chair or something. What's that? Those guys go fast on the summer. Katie just thought it was a soft. I was always whining and complaining about my leg, and they're like, "Just get up there and be quiet." But uh, and they did, but yeah. So they don't know if they can fix it, but once they get in there, they'll know. And if not, they'll clean it out, and it'll be arthritic for a while. <laughs> you gonna be able to run the bases on Mother's really? Day? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I'll get to first and golf for a pitch. Oh, right <laughs> motorized chairs. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> That's right. That is kind of close to Mother's Day. I forgot about that. But. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll be ready for softball. Stroke and bore that little engine on that puppy. We'll get yes. it motoring around there. <laughs> I always wanted a golf cart anyways for around here. Let's take that. So, so anyway, Ernie. Candy cap sign on it. Yeah. You look like you're 100%. We'll, we'll see if I can get there. So. I think well. <laughs> you might be in line for that Hall of Fame. But I've got competition. <laughs> All right. Uh, other items. I just want to shoot a couple of quick program things and then I'll get out of the way and all the other items. That is, um, I just want to make a, a quick mention of our wrestling program. We're just really excited about how that's, how that's been going. Uh, we're holding that on Sunday mornings and Thursday nights over the town hall. We have some great um, volunteer coaches who are running that. And tomorrow night we're planning to go see the Concord High wrestling team at a really, really big meet they're having. I don't know the exact name of it, but there are Deerfield kids on the Concord team and involved in the Concord program, the McKenzies and David Cook. And, and uh, so we're planning to go, the team, the wrestling team is planning to go to see them. And the other program that's hitting uh, is we're starting a karate program right now within the after school program. And the response to that has been really good and that's gonna uh, launch Monday the 23rd or some that's the correct date Monday oh no Monday the 13th the day before um, I almost said Halloween <laughs> <laughs> day before Valentine so anyway and volleyball how's volleyball going uh, it's been slow the last couple of weeks Darren's been running that but um, there's you know stuff going on with Super Bowl Sunday and oh, yeah. we had some good turnouts for us a couple of weeks so tell two friends and 
come on down while you can to Sunday morning volleyball. Yeah, send out a reminder on Friday. I, f I forget about it. I'm thinking, oh, that'll be to Julie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on Friday, <laughs> Saturday, and the Sunday. Oh, yeah. That's <laughs> Melissa yeah, was out running her dogs when I was on my way yeah. the other day. I wanted to pick her up. Like, get in the car. <laughs> you're going. <laughs> the dog's kind of big. <laughs> I have a couple, too. One is, you know, we got some people putting together a variety show for next November. And I introduced early in the process the idea of affiliating them with the town through us. And I think that's going to come around again. We have a meeting tomorrow night. Um, you know, because they, they want to use the, the gym at the school and then it hits insurance. And plus, if you affiliate with us, donations are tax deductible and every, all the budget can go through the town. And ah, it's just, and I, I love what it is for us also as um, it's sort of just expanding our range like you have done so much anyway. So I will, unless somebody has an objection, I will suggest that. I, that what I have in mind, I don't, wanna, I don't want to compromise their plans at all. Whatever they want to do is fine, put it together a variety show, but it would probably mean we would designate them as a subcommittee with one or more of us on there anyway, so that's enough probably. A member, and they would become, it would become a, we would be kind of sponsors of the variety show which we could even financially sponsor with the money that's going to come from the 250th kind of money we collected. So um, I think when there's opportunities to do that, uh, it's, um, it's good for Deerfield to have Deerfield involved in those kind of initiatives in ways that are really enabling to the people who have the ideas and energy, not to control them at all, not to limit them, just to support them. And is that good to everybody? What did you say that is? I was real excited when, when you mentioned that. Um, personally, I, I think it's a great idea. And it, it allows us as well to be able to share our resources with them as opposed to just feeling a little funny about yeah. private citizens kind of using certain things. If yeah. we can do that, then it can open up our resources. And before I actually got that from you, I was uh, invited to participate and I think it's some uh, some type of an MC role or whatever, which Good. I agreed to. And then um, it was funny because Carolyn O'Neill sent back and she said, oh, we're so excited because we're reuniting the Deerfield What's Happening because apparently they asked Erica if she would do it as well. So I think we're going to be kind of some sort of MC role or whatever in there for those dates. So, you know, I'm all in and I think it will be a great thing for us to get involved in. Great. Nice. Do you have a point? Do they have a, I don't know, any kind of point person other than the yourself key, the key no it's not me for sure no I'm just I'm just there supporting um, the key players are Jen Verbal and um, Carolyn O'Neill that's who got in touch with and, me uh, um, uh, Dick Marquis's wife Marilee Marquis is like doing writing and stuff beautifully and Dick will be involved again and they're going to reprise that stuff and it's rolling along, and we're looking to recruit people who would bring energy to it. And um, you know, for kind of a few people can really turn make make it fly. Mm -hmm. You know, like Jenny George, that kind of people that are that comfortable on stage and yeah. like to you know push it. Um, so it's really helpful to get that, and then you can get people that are kind of deadpan like me <laughs> to <laughs> fill in around them. <laughs> so, so um, man. Yeah, he's we'll, a great guy. <laughs> yeah, right. So we'll, uh, anyway, that's a great way to go with that. The other one I have is the, um, we're, we're putting together, this will be under the auspices of the Fair Association, but the idea is I'm, I'm working, I'm now a director in the Fair Association, and I'm working to um, have initiatives that engage the regional com community in, in the fair, in the fairgrounds and in stuff we do that's, beyond the fair weekend. So this is a 100 Jumper Horse Show. It's, we're putting it together for June 3rd. Um, we're endeavoring to make it at a very, at a level where everybody from the area who rides and is interested in that kind of event is comfortable attending. It's not high pressure. The judging is supportive and, and um, you know, instructional as well as judging. And, and we make it really fun like, we, like, like you do with I mean, the, the idea would be to get where you are with 
um, the Hoop Classic, where you do those little things, like we did with the 250th, too, that make people really happy to be there and want to come back and enjoy it a lot. And, um, and then we may extend other things. So anyway, if there's any way, if Parks and Rec sees any opportunity to participate in that, as we did with the 250th, I don't really see it now, but I wanted you to know what was going on. And um, there could be other things happening on the, on the grounds at the same time. There likely will be, like face painting. And there'll be fundraisers by groups going on or whatever. But the face painting was, was something that was for, uh, oh, it was for the preschool. Um, so anyway, just kind of letting you know that's happening. Yeah, and that there, there will likely be other initiatives like that. You said that was June 3rd? Yes. Right now it's lining up for June 3rd. Everything is coming together nicely. Thank you. <coughs> Anybody else have anything else? Motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Second. I make a motion okay. to adjourn. All in favor, say aye. 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 Thank you, everybody, Thank you. for a brave and